Today, let's check out the 2021 Jayco Eagle 332 CBOK. Come on! Traveland RV and the Langley Bypass. We are here today. Sun is shining. I'm a happy camper. Corey's complaining. You know, the usual. It's too hot. <laughs> it's beautiful out and we are going to take you on a tour of the 2021 Jayco Eagle 332CB OK. <laughs> It's a very cool rig. At the end, we'll link to the construction video where you can learn all about that and even help us out a little bit if you can, that'd be great. Uh, as you are all aware, mine and Corey's opinions from all the research that we do, and we've spent at least six months trying to research this rig to show it to you. So I'm really happy that we're here today to do that. You can click the links in the description for the currency converter and the timestamps and the RV research tool that we use and you can too. And of course, down there, if we're giving you any value at all, please hit the link in the description to buy us a coffee. Today, we're super thankful to TKRA. I know. <laughs> Sometimes you guys put initials and things in like that, but Corey and I have been just calling you Tikra. <laughs> Thank you for buying us a coffee. We truly appreciate it. So without further ado, we're going to start on the outside. We'll take you around and then we'll go inside and we'll check out this awesome rig. So what we found, you get a nice fiberglass uh, front cap here with the very cool lighting in it. And I just want to remind you all, when you're at the park and your cool lighting is going because it's just so cool, remember that all the people around you might not think it's as cool as you. So don't forget to turn it out before you go to bed. So you get this cool fiberglass cap and you can see that these are quite high rigs and I'll get you the numbers to tell you more. Uh, you do get the uh, electric jack, you get 230 pounds of propane and I want you to come around and have a look at what's back here because this is unique and special. There is this very cool little sort of front storage space. I mean, they do have a battery here and of course you know you can you can get different kinds of batteries, but this is a really great space and it's lit and I think it's pretty cool. So now, let me take you down this side and see what else we can find. All right, heading down the driver's side, there's a few things I wanna show you because interestingly, and we haven't seen this before, there is a camera with lighting here. So uh, what it seems that this is, is an opportunity to shine light down the side of your rig and see what's going on. Sorry, a little noisy here at the dealership. They're busy, 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 working hard. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> now, let's move on to the front storage. Now, these are heavy doors, but wait for it, wait for it. Ta-da, we love magnets, you know that. So you can see that this is pass-through storage and it's quite spacious. The door is quite a, a big opening and you can get through down there. What we did also notice in this space though is that there's no heat ducting. Now the underbelly where the tanks and stuff are, are heated, but this space is not, which is a bit of a concern for us because this is also where your wet bay is. So you do get lighting in here. Um, and there is also that thermal foil radiant barrier that's in there too to keep the heat in because what's above here uh, is closet space but I'll show you that more when we go inside. The other thing that we found interesting in this space is you can see hot, cold and sewer plumbing. So what do you guys think that might be for? I'll show you. Um, this also has a jacks that are electric and the buttons for that are here so that's nice to have let's also talk about this wet bay all lit everything so here's a hookup for your outdoor shower um, your water pump is here your tank flushes your water connection uh, sanitization you've got your black pull and two grays in here so that's something to think about you know there's more than one gray tank and then you can just put your stuff down through there then let's talk about the slide. There are three slides on this rig. This one is an um, electric rack and pinion down here. 
and there's a few features on it that we have thoughts on. <laughs> One being that these flares here, uh, this is a plastic piece with a sheet metal piece behind it that it's attached to, and I want to talk about that more when we go down the other side. Also, if we look way up high, we can see that it does have the rain rails and spouts that we love, but it does not have the slide toppers. So I'm gonna say look into that because I think that's important. Okay, come on down this side. There's another storage space right here and it's quite a big one. I like it, it's easy access, it's a decent space, vinyl flooring, it's all good. Okay, let's come back here. And this is where your 50 amp connection is. And uh, here. This is where your uh, sewer hookup is to for those poles that were in uh, that front bay there. And here's the other slide, which also is an electric rack and pinion. But this is where we're kind of having a problem. If you're looking at this, you can probably see that this plastic flare piece is kind of bent out. Um, it just doesn't seem that strong to us. And we would be worried about that when the slide is in tight, that this is kind of flapping around out there. And quite frankly, we've driven down the road and seen these flapping around out there. And it's just not my favorite feature. I wish they would make it a little stronger. It does have some metal backing though. It looks, maybe you could bend that in and it might hold it better. Maybe. Maybe. So, I mean, it is something to notice and take care of. It's just, I would hate for this to get broke off for you. Now, coming back, frameless windows. I know you guys love those. They're not my fave, but that's okay. You're allowed to love them. And coming around to the back, I want to show you something else down here. Come on underneath the slide. <laughs> here is another sewer drainage spot with another gray pull three gray poles. <laughs> so again, this is going to mean that when you are dumping at a sandy dump, you're going to have to hook these up separately or uh, Y them or something to dump and then you'll go around and pull all of your poles. Okay, let's take a look at the back. So you do get a uh, ladder because remember these are like holy cow strong roofs and so you'll have no problem going up there and doing all your roof maintenance and taking care of things so that's pretty cool you do get a uh, backup camera i'm gonna have to check to see if it's pre-wired or if it's standard or exactly how that goes and then down here is the receiver hitch now this is only going to be for a rack of some kind so i'll see if i can figure out what the weight is on that Coming around this side, we're back to the third slide. And this is the cable driven slide, which is perfectly good and strong for this uh, type of rig. And again, you know, we don't have toppers, but something to think about. You do get two awnings, one on the main body and one on the slide, both electric, both with LED lights. Oh, oh, I wanted to show you this feature. Come on in, look way underneath here. See where the spare tire is way under there. And then, and then see this post thing that's sticking out and it comes out to over here, come around out here and it sticks out in here or, or not sticks out, but it, it goes into this little space right here. And I was thinking, what the heck? What do you need that for? But it's so that you can undo the spare tire from out here if you need it so instead of crawling under there lying on your back and fiddle farting around to get that spare tire down you can just do it through there and then it's on the ground now you still got to crawl under but you just got to haul it out it just seems like it's they're trying to simplify that process for people now i do want to point out maybe we should do that now while i'm in here that these are pretty good and tight pretty good tires so you're getting um aluminum rims and these are the Goodyear Endurance uh, ST235-85R16 is the tire that you're getting there. Um, you do get a 
leaf suspension with the more ride stabilizer on it in there as well and what's here oh that's a heavy duty door okay because it's on that strut thing you know what's going to happen if i let go do it <laughs> okay oh, <laughs> that's going to be somebody else's job okay so that of course would be the challenge for us but you get a little bit of an outdoor kitchen here and quite frankly corey we could eat right out of the fridge <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so you get a, li a small little electric uh, fridge there. What do we get here? Oh. I could do some, some overhead cooking. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Literally overhead cooking, yeah. Talk about getting splashed in the face by grease, hey? We'd have to wear safety glasses <laughs> to cook on this stove. <laughs> okay, so there's a plug-in out there. Like, if, for instance, if I could reach anything. <laughs> And there's lighting and there is uh, some cool storage there. Oh, look, if you, can if you can reach it, you could open a bottle. Oh, and uh, here's some other important points for those of you who would like this kitchen. <laughs> there is electrical and cable hookups up in there. So I guess you could set a TV in that area as well. Okay, <laughs> let's carry on. <laughs> Um, some other things I want to point out. Well, let's go up here first. So here's that other camera and light and another heavy door, but this is the other side of that pass through. So you can see how uh, big it is. I mean, it's quite tall and you can fit lots of stuff in there. Uh, there's also a spray port here on the side. You get outdoor speakers. You've got electric here. Um, and then the other feature that I wanted to show you was under the stairs. Come on. It is way underneath the stairs there is a propane quick disconnect. So I like that. And then of course, you know, I love these type of stairs. Look at how many of them there are. That's also an indication of how high this rig is, but I will get you um, the measurements for it. So, People comment all the time and I appreciate those comments because it gives us different perspective. You know I like these because they're just so darn stable and easy to climb up and they have this awesome handrail. So I really love that. But as it was brought up to me by a commenter, she felt that it wasn't the easiest thing to do because if it wasn't perfectly stable, the door rubbed and didn't open enough to allow the stairs to get in, in a storage situation. You get to the yard, you back up to your space, and we normally back into our space and do all of our unpacking and cleaning and anything like that. You wouldn't be able to do that here. You would have to keep the trailer with the door past any other vehicles in the storage space in order to use this, and then at the very end, slide it into a spot. Could become a complication, I don't know. So something for you to think about. The door, this is the other issue with the steps. If the steps are in, do you want me to show you how they go in? Here. They're really not difficult to do. They're quite light and they go up quite easily. They have a little handle there and then they go in and stop there. So now this is the part. <laughs> We're stopped, phew. Let's just go in and get a drink. We've been driving all day. Denise comes back and <laughs> can't reach the darn door handle <laughs> to get it open. So, I mean, it is reachable, but it's tough. But in other trailers with different types of stairs, I would be able to pull the stair out, climb up on the stair to open the door. Now, these, once I got the door open, these are just fabulous stairs and I love them. But they do kind of stick out quite a ways. So that's just that. Then you do get a screen, you get a window in the door, and it's all quite nice. I really do like this type of grab bar. And don't forget that it closes up like that. So it's really easy to manage and I do like it. Come on in and I'll show you the inside. It's very cool. All right, here we are in the 2021 Jayco Eagle 332 CBOK. Nice trailer and it's got quite a few features that I can't wait to show you. So first off talking about decor. 
It has some light, some medium, and then a little bit of dark, but it is only a little bit and it, I think it works perfectly. It's just a nice little contrast. So up here when you come in, oh, I did want to mention too when I came in the door, because I think I forgot to tell you outside, this is a friction door and there is a bumper back there, just so you know. You got a command center here, nice cabinetry. It's got a little bit of glass in it and it, it's got quite a bit of space, goes all the way through. So I do like it. I mean, it's way up there, but you know how storage is. And it just is, this is tall in here. You get underneath lighting, you get a nice little mirror and you get this great little couch, which I actually really love. I love it because it's just the right size. It's comfortable. It does make down into a bed. Uh, you can see the TV easily. And over here, you get a nice window to look out and good airflow. And look at this. I really like this because it's just one balance. What kind of blinds do we have? Okay, so there's the blinds. Uh, you get the balance, but you're not getting the box. But then what I notice is they take out the side boxes and just leave the window. So it's just like this window in there. Where Jayco has trimmed out the window in, uh, in a little bit of wood. So it looks nice, but you don't have all that bulky box around it. One other feature I wanna share with you, because I've seen this in a number of different rigs, is see this clock up here? Isn't that nice of them that they give you a clock with which to tell time on? <laughs> Here's a tip for everybody out there, old or new. When you get these clocks, take them down, take out the batteries, put them back up, and change the time to quarter to three. The reason we do that, we have it in, in the beaver, is because quarter three is just the perfect time for it to always be. If it's quarter to three in the morning and you're up, go pee and you can go back to bed. If it's quarter to three in the afternoon, relax, sit back, have a cool drink, enjoy your RV. It's the perfect idea. You don't need to know what time it actually is. Now take a look at this. So this is the trim of the slide and look at how beautiful it is. It's got some gray, it's a creamy white, it's a, a tall slide. It's, this is really nice. So you get your recliner chairs here, which are directly facing the TV. So that's great. You've got switches you can reach. You've got reading lights. You've got uh, windows that air can flow through. And you got your recliner with your cup holders, a little bit of storage. Now, remember, these are the frameless windows, so they're going to flip up. So that kind of bugs me because this is sort of blocking my airflow. But really minor problem right let's go into the dinette first of all i said to corey what the heck who does this to the chairs it's just <laughs> it's just for protection of the wood so i've never seen that done before but can't hurt right very nice uh pattern on the chairs it is a little more browner than gray but it's nice this is a nice table big windows a bit blingy on the on the lighting fixture but still not a big deal it's fine the table actually has an extension that just pulls out and so i mean it's not a huge extension but it helps and then you just lift that up push it back in it's, so it's really simple the other thing that i really like about this now first of all this isn't going to make into a bed right because you've got the freestanding chairs, table, and then you get this nice bench, which is very cool because it opens up. So you have storage and you can move it around. So I think that's pretty handy. And I mean, if you, if you wanted it to be an ottoman, it could. You want it for storage, it can. You want it here, you can. You want to put your dog kennel there, you can. It's really very versatile. Now let's move into this beautiful kitchen. It is really nice. They've done such a good job. It's kind of distressed cabinetry and it's beautiful. Now reading and learning, it did say that it came with a standard residential refrigerator. Uh, so for those of you who want a residential fridge, it's an option. I personally think this is a stunning refrigerator. I'm gonna guess it's around 13, but we'll check on that. And it's your propane electric, double door, beautiful. 
I love this. And it's very reachable, even though it's not in a slide. I love the freezer. There's no centerpiece there, so I love that. It also has great storage up there. I have no idea what's in it. You could put maps up there. Nobody ever uses maps anymore. <laughs> okay. That's probably true. Uh, you know, when we got Penelope back, I was going through cabinets and stuff and literally found maps that we had put up there back in the 90s. Totally, totally. <laughs> Anyways, I bet they're still applicable. The roads are probably still there. Well, they might have been changed a bit by now. Look at this. So that's huge. What I've seen um, in other rigs is that sometimes people put their pet bowls or things or they have pet built in ones, but I like this because you can decide. So, and again, the cabinetry is just beautiful. Then we come back to this kitchen and sink area. I mean, this is stunning. This is a hard surface countertop. These windows are just Oh my God, wow, like you have such a view when you're standing at the kitchen. You do have quite a bit of space back there. Um, I don't know exactly what I'd put back there, but the point is you can, and you've got space over there. Um, these windows too are trimmed out, but with a bit of a different wood, and it just, it just finishes off the window so much nicer without having the bulky valance there. Nice tap sprayer. Um, this is a Jayco thing, and that's the, uh, they have their own sort of little water filtration system, so that's what this is. You've got switches here, fan, vent, your water pump, there's electric there, and then maybe Jayco has been listening to DSM, because look it, is that not a stunning cutting board? <laughs> I mean, really, it does everything that I could have ever asked for out of a sink cover. It gives me more countertop space. It allows me, because this is a uh, double undermount stainless square sink that's beautiful. And when I use this, I can have a cutting board, I can have a countertop surface, I can use both sides of the sink. I just don't think it gets any better than that. I love it. Then, coming down, so here's where your fuses and things are gonna be some storage there. Yeah, there's a bit, a bit of plumbing in the way, but it's okay. Then over here is where a huge garbage can can be, and this is that water filtration system that Jayco's got. So basically what they're saying is, go get yourself some filtered water in a big jug like this, and it's piped up to that uh, little tap there. So for your uh, dishwashing and all that, you're using whatever water is coming from wherever you've hooked up to. But for your drinking, you always have that. And I like that idea a lot. Okay, coming around to here, we've got this huge countertop, again, hard surface, right beside the stove. I love that. I love being able to put stuff here and then cook. You do get electric. You've got buttons for all your lighting here. Up here is um, quite a bit of deep cupboard space, which I like. This, uh -huh. it is just a microwave. It's not convection, but that's okay. It's just not as big as it looks. It looks like it's this big microwave, when in fact, it's just a little microwave. <laughs> but that's okay, right? It just looks really nice. I love the window, the box. What I'm not liking is that there really isn't any type of backsplash around the stove area. You do get a three burner gas, Furion, you know I love Furion, and it's all level, like I, I love this. And you get a nice sized oven. I think it's quite big. And then you also get this pull out, which is huge. This is a wonderful pots and pans drawer, along with one, two, three, four great sized drawers. Really nice drawers. Then this island is beautiful, and look at the storage in it. <laughs> so the doors are on both sides, it opens right up. So you could, this would be a great place for your dishes and stuff, right? So you could access things from both sides, and it's both upper and bottom. And then, you get this wonderful countertop. Like the, the cooking, 
and the mixing and all the stuff you can do in here. This is just wonderful space. The other thing that I like about it is it has stools. So you can sit up both sides to here if you want. So you can put the kids up here or what would happen in our case is I'd have all my stuff, my computer and my papers and all my RV brochures <laughs> out on the table and it's dinner time and we can just pull up here and sit. That's what we do, we'd eat here. I love this feature. And it's not like it's taking away from your cupboard space at all or your, you got lots in this kitchen. Also you get the same kind of um, lights above the island, so it's good. Then we also get a really nice pantry. Lit, adjustable shelves, you can make it whatever you want. This is wonderful space. So I have no problem having stools under this island. Then we come in to the rest of the living room. You get storage up here. Now again, we're going a little bit darker, but it's okay, it really works. This is huge storage. It goes way back there, so I'll probably lose whatever I put back there because it's so far in, but I like it. And it's on struts, right? So these aren't gonna fall down on my head. Huge TV. I'm thinking it's about 50, but I will try and confirm that for you. Got your sound system here and my favorite. Yeah, you get a fireplace. So I really like that. Now, let's look up, way up at the ceiling. You are getting LED lighting, you are getting speakers, and you can see your suckers and blowers for your AC. Because of the system that Jayco uses and how it circulates the air through, these are really a, a very nice AC system. And then, moving down to the full floor, the thing I wanna show you, couple of things. Vinyl, you do have uh, some ducting in the floor, which is not my favorite thing, but it has been pointed out to me that by having ducting in the floor, you actually heat the floor better than when ducting is in a cabinet. So pros and cons, whatever floats your boat. Uh, the other thing that I love is looky here, look at this. So in the slides, both sides, it's all vinyl. There's no carpet and there's no reason for there to be carpet. So everybody else, manufacturers out there who's doing that, stop it. This is fabulous. There's no tripping hazard. It fits down nicely. Yeah, because there's still a little bump there, but it's wonderful. I absolutely love it. So now I'm going to take you down and we'll see what's at the front of this trailer. All right, so coming this way towards the front of the trailer, you get the bathroom and the bedroom. Uh, not my favorite door, of course, but it takes up space when it opens up and it actually, the handle of the bathroom door is hitting the wood of the bedroom door. So that's something to be careful of, right? Because these aren't like the thickest of wood doors and this handle could actually bang through there. You do get your toilet paper holder here and a towel holder there. So I do like that. And then come in here, I got to show you this. It's kind of weird. I'm not really sure what's going on, but there's this blue light up in the shower. I don't know why you need a blue light in your shower. I actually like it. I don't like blue lights, but you could get up first thing in the morning when you're tired, not have a real lit in here, but still be able to see what you're doing. You're kind of easing into the day. Okay. okay, so there's an option. Maybe you guys have another option as to why that's there. What I did like was also in here is this nice little backlighting in the mirror. For me, I need all the lights. <laughs> the eyes are fading. I need all the lights when I come in here. So let me show you this great shower. So it's a two piece unit and it is massive. Like I, I can barely touch the ends. Uh, so this is a one piece plastic surround with shelves in it. And then it comes down to this second piece um, base, which I really do like. It is the click together stuff, but I can see that there is some caulking in there. Yay. So that's great. You do get a seat. So I like that as well. You get a three piece uh, glass door. I also love that. Corey's going to complain in case someone might be peeking in on him. And then you do get just average tap and shower head here. 
coming out though you get a really nice um countertop now this is the thermal foil uh style of counter it's not the solid surface that's out in the kitchen a decent sized uh plastic undermount sink average taps nice backsplash a uh, place for your towel, electricity, a good mirror. I just want to see if this opens. Oh, it does. Check that out. So you get some storage too. And there's more storage up here. I don't know how I would reach that way up there, but you know, you take the storage where you can get. Also, there's another um, towel holder coming down is, oh, a big drawer. That's very nice. And some storage in there too so that's pretty cool the toilet is a porcelain foot flush and there's lots of room here so I like that up there you do get a vent fan AC LED and down here on the floor is also uh, your heat ducting so that's good now let's go check out the bedroom so it opens in and it's quite a big bedroom, I think, quite spacious. You are getting, I think, a king bed. I think it comes standard with a queen, but you do have the king option. If this is in the slide, and um, it's way back there. So it's, unless I'm climbing way up on the bed, which we all know in most of them you have to, there is storage up there with the glass. You do get reading lights, but these ones you have to be able to reach the actual light. Um, nice windows on each side here that are sliders so you've got good ventilation i'm not liking this little wee piece of uh if that's supposed to be an end table or side table whatever i'm not in love with it there is however electricity on both sides of the bed uh, so you could plug in your devices and that kind of thing um, nice enough um, mattress and uh, decor. Let's see what's under here. So you got your storage under there. Those are the chairs for the other table. It's on struts. It stays up. It's easy access. So I do like that. See how easy it is to put down. It's good, right? Then there's, there's some storage way up there, which would be hard for me to reach. But again, if I'm walking around on the bed to access those, I can access that one too. Then back here is a very nice closet space with shelving in it. Now, remember when we were in that space, that pass-through space underneath, I showed you the plumbing? Because you could put a combo unit washer-dryer in here. So that's why that's there. And... Uh, it is whichever way you choose it's lots of space and then behind me here is mirrors and another closet and cupboard with pull outs so that's i love that i mean the truth of the matter is we're going to have a lot of trouble <laughs> trying to reach that closet rod um, but also that isn't unheard of for us and that's the kind of thing that could be moved down right to be in a more accessible spot for us and then over here is another and a little more reachable um rod there and more storage above here so i like all of that your tv is over here another window and a bit of a dresser so um this does have six drawers but they're small they're deep this way but they're pretty small this way and the reason for that is the cracker barrel factor and the thing about the cracker barrel factor is that the bed is in this big slide and when that comes in it's going to move the bed right up close to here so what can you access and what can't you well you do have full access to the bed you could get into your closet space you just have to climb on the bed you could even do laundry <laughs> You just can't really get into these drawers. So take out your jammies and underwear early so that if you're going to have a night with the slide in, it's still very doable. Let's go look at the Cracker Barrel out here. All right. So out in the main living area for the Cracker Barrel factor, these two slides are opposing. 
when they come in, they're pretty big slides, this one's going to come in right up close to here, and this kitchen stuff is all going to come up close to here. So what that means is that when you come in the doorway, you're going to be able to maybe squeak by this corner, and you'll probably be able to sit here. <laughs> you will be able to sit on the recliner chairs, and you'll be able to get to the end of this, but that's it in this space. So what that means is the Cracker Barrel factor isn't great, but it's still okay. You can, you're at Cracker Barrel, go in and get something to eat. Then when you come back out, you can sit here and watch TV. You could sit there and watch TV. You can go to the bathroom. You can go to bed. Heck, you could even do some laundry. <laughs> and then you can head out on your way in the morning. So it is doable. It's not fantastic, but it's doable because you're not going to be able to access your kitchen or your dining area in any way. You're not cooking in here. You're not getting into the fridge, that kind of thing. But it's doable. Now let's take a look at the numbers. Now for the numbers on the 2021 Jayco Eagle 332 CBO cake. I don't know what all the letters stand for in that. The, uh, I went and took a picture of the sticker. The GVW on this is actually 11,174 pounds and the cargo carrying capacity is 821 pounds. I'm a bit concerned about that. That's not a lot of space for you to load everything up in here and then you don't want to be at that max that you can be. So I do caution you on that. Hope you're living minimally, okay? <laughs> Uh, so that's that. What are some of the other numbers? The fridge is actually at 13.5 cubic feet, but remember that they said it was a standard residential that you could have in here. Uh, the total exterior length is 40 foot 1 inches. The exterior width 8 foot 1 inches. Exterior height with the AC did seem quite tall and it's 12 foot 3 inches. The interior height in here, seven foot three inches. I know there are some of you out there who are tall and have mentioned that that really matters and this would be a good trailer. The awning length outside, the bigger one was 16 foot, the second one was nine feet. The fresh water capacity is 75 gallons and remember we talked about there being three gray pulls because there is actually three gray tanks. So the first one, 32.5 gallons, the second one, 32.5 gallons, and the third one is 37 gallons. So I think the reason it's like that is because the kitchen is way back here, the uh, bathroom is kind of up at the front, and then I guess if you're using that washing machine, if you had one up there, that would be for that. So you do get those three. Uh, the water heater is at six gallons. It was 60 pounds of propane. Uh, 35,000 BTU furnace and so yeah standard was a 21 cubic foot residential refrigerator so I mean that's I guess a choice you would have to make this TV is a 50 inch TV and uh, yeah so king bed optional otherwise 60 by 80 queen and that all-important number, the price, here at Travel Land Supercenter in Langley, it is on sale for 76,987 Canadian dollars, and the currency converter's in the description, so you can figure that out for wherever you are at. It's a really nice trailer. It's unique, the decor is great, we do like it. It's a pretty decent build. Um, yeah, so if this is one that you're getting or you like, we wanna hear about it, so let us know in the comments, because that's pretty cool. If we've provided you with any value whatsoever, please buy us a coffee, link in the description as well, as well at, at the ends here, I will put up a link to the construction of the Jayco Eagle and we'll put up an adventure or something like that for you to come along with us as well. We love having you along. Feel free to hit the subscribe if you haven't already. It's really nice to have spent our time with you. Thanks for watching.